Hi, this video is a general overview of the My Math Lab website and how we're going to use it for this course. Hopefully you watched the registration video and you've already got your username and log on. I'm going to go ahead and go to the PearsonMyLab.com site and I'm going to sign in. Uh, it looks like it memorized my username and password so it just passes me through to the site. On the left hand side of the screen notice that you see a list of classes now. I have a lot of classes that use my math lab and so I've got a pretty long list here. In fact you can kind of see how long my list goes several semesters worth. You're probably only going to see one class right here on the left hand side and it's whichever one you used your course ID to enroll in. I'm going to go ahead and click the course to show you what the main page kind of looks like. What you really want to pay attention to on this page are the buttons on the left. Announcements, I'm not going to use the announcements page. Um, any announcements that I have to make, I'll use Angel. You've also got a homework tab. Um, obviously, you're going to click this tab um, in order to go and do your homework. You're going to take your tests, your chapter tests. Every chapter we um, will have a test. You're going to take your chapter tests here. I'm going to um, keep a gradebook in Angel, but this gradebook button will let you know what your current grade is for the two categories, homework and quizzes and tests. So if you want to click the gradebook button, it'll take you to a, uh, a gradebook of how you're doing in this course. And you can see um, so far, uh, if I click overall score, it looks like I've got a 50% at the moment, so I need to get busy. So there is a gradebook button. Uh, again, it's, it's a gradebook button only for what's going on in my math lab. The study plan button is something that you can mess around with. A study plan button will allow you to set up your own assignments um, and set up your own study plan. If you click that, you can use that and set up your own plan. This is something that's extra that you get with my math lab. It's not required. This is pretty obvious. The ebook button will indeed bring up a copy of your electronic textbook. Um, and you can get to the book from here. But what I'd really like to point out um, right now is the multimedia library. The multimedia library is where you'll find um, not just the homework and the videos and the animations, but there are also a number of other things that you'll find here that are not assigned to you as a student to complete but you might want to take a look at them anyway. Here's what it's going to look like when you uh, click Multimedia Library. You can drop down, select a chapter. I'm going to choose two since it's the first chapter. And uh, I can even drill down to the section, but I'm going to go ahead and say show me all of the media types that you have for chapter two. And I'm going to click Find Now. You'll notice down here that I have quite a number of um, things that show up. In fact, you can even see in the list here, I have the multimedia textbook, I have the animations, you're going to be doing the animations under the homework tab, you're going to be watching the videos, those are also assigned under the homework tab, but you'll notice you've got uh, the PowerPoints, you've also got access to a chapter test prep video. Uh, these are not assigned, the PowerPoints are not assigned, this is something that if you like PowerPoints you can take a look at those. I typically don't use PowerPoints in my in my classroom. I really like just working a lot of problems on the board, showing some examples, talking about the concepts, uh, similar to the videos that you're going to see here. Uh, the test prep videos are probably the most useful. Uh, before you sit down to take a chapter test, you, you might want to uh, look at the test prep video because it's going to be an overview of the entire chapter, the important uh, concepts that you were supposed to grasp for that chapter. So. The chapter test prep videos are not assigned, but it might be something you want to take a look at. So you can kind of see as I scroll down, these are the animations. Um, I didn't assign all of them in this particular chapter, but I did a, assign um, some of them. Some of the sections in chapter 2 we skipped. Um, in fact, we skipped ch section 2.4 and 2.6. Uh, here's another way to get to your multimedia textbook. Uh, you can still click over here on the ebook, but you can also get to it from here as well. Here are the PowerPoint slides for Chapter 2, and each section has its own video. These videos are 30 to 40 minutes, 
and uh, I'm actually going to cover that in another another video. Uh, this is just an overview of um, my math lab uh, to get you to kind of take a look at at the site and get familiar with the buttons. Thanks, and I hope you watch the next video on how to do your homework.